Fuck off. Fuck it. Bollocks! Do I swear a lot? Fuck off! It's three players. Always says Eric Cantona, Zola and Bergkamp. The thing about Cantona, he destroyed me for about five years and then I thought, I'll turn his colours down because he was a bit mad, he was. So I said, when I played against him, I used to turn his colours down he didn't like it. And he used to, you know, his eye used to go and his veins used to come out his neck and he didn't like it. All he wanted to do was elbow me and kick me. You know, he didn't want to play football anymore. And, you know, it was, I finally got to him, so the last three years I've, I've done well against him. You asked me in a roundabout kind of way, who did I like kicking most? Basically, I loved kicking Andrew Cole. And I know this is big, and it's, I know it's not big, it's not clever, but in one tackle I did break both his legs. Because he annoyed me. I didn't mean to break both his legs, if I'm honest, I only meant to break one. It wasn't a free kick, it was a playoff. He was excellent, because the ball, he let the ball run past him, he didn't know it was coming, I absolutely destroyed him. And I know it's not big, it's not clever, but it was great. I'm great friends with Teddy Sheringham, and Teddy Sheringham didn't like him, and if Teddy Sheringham don't like him, I don't like him. We was the first boys to sort of, uh, we was the first players, to, Liverpool started paying them big money, you know, we were the first players to get the big money, with. We, we all had Porsches and, and Ferraris, and we were the first boys to sort of get paid three birds into bed, so we sort of, we sort of rewrit football history, really, and it was great times looking back. He is my favourite presenter on TalkSport at the moment because uh, his stupid voice gets on my nerves. He's had his teeth done. He still thinks he looks a million dollars and he ain't his old. And no, it's just nice. It was nice to stay. Stan Collin was one of the best players to play with. But if Stan Collin, if I had Stan Collin and I was a billet with my heart, we would have played for Brazil. He, he's called Stan the Can because he's cock. Algier have got some skillful players, but they're only skillful if they get time. Um, I think in the football they're, they're used to playing with, they, uh, they have a lot of time on the ball. And so hopefully England will, will be firing all, all cylinders and the Algerians won't have, won't have time to show their skills and their passing. I think their fitness will come in, I think we're bigger and stronger than them, so I don't think their skill will, will come into it and we should overpower them quite easily. Yeah, I think, I think um, on a one-off, we could be overconfident if it was a one-off game, say at Wembley or away. It could be overconfidence on the England England part, and they could uh, they could do well. But I think in a in a World Cup competition, when games come thick and fast, you know, there's no there's no chance to, to be complacent and, and overconfident. So I think we should uh, just bully him really, and to, we should overpower him. I've, I've backed Holland just in case we don't win. I always back the Dutch for some reason because they've got to come good. They lost for three years. And they've got, to, you know, they, the Dutch always end up arguing, but you know, one competition they've got to stay argument free and, and do well. So always back the Dutch. Plus they hate the Germans more than we do, so it's a good reason to back them. Outside Talksport Towers, outside the window, you can see the London Eye there. So I was bored, so I got onto the window windowsill and pulled my striped pants down and bent over, and I went to Rob McCaffrey. Yeah, Rob, while he was live, he went, yes, Ray. I went, you can see the London Eye from here, right? Which was hilarious, and we laughed for about 30 seconds. And Mr. McKenzie sacked me for it, I can't believe it. The Guitar Hero, on, on your Wii's and your Xbox and all the, your fancy games that the kids have, you know, I often have a rock off at home with the kids, which I lose. But they've just brought out the National Anthem in time for the World Cup. So I think it would be great fun to, to do the National Anthem, get all goosey pimply and, and, and then watch England, get yourself in the mood. So that's what we're going to do in, my, in the Rudder household.